previously on my channel. I'm also going to run 26.2 miles, but I'm not going to run a normal marathon. I'm going to split it up into multiple runs throughout the day. Also, honestly, I just want to get it over with. Extremely tired. And 26.2, done. And clearly, I'm exhausted. I'm just really tired. So last week I ran a lot, and I was pretty tired. So this week I decided I'm going to do something different. I'm just going to lift a lot. So for those who know me, they know I'm a huge gym addict, and I have been for years. And because I'm such an addict, I actually have a membership to over 10 gyms in the Pittsburgh area. And Planet Fitness. So a while back I was thinking to myself, wouldn't it be fun if I could go to a bunch of gyms in one day? And then I said, wait a minute, I can do that. So tomorrow, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to all 10 gyms, and I'm going to work out at every single one of them. Because I think we can all agree that lifting is not as tiring as running a marathon. Plus gains. There's always gains. So the 10 gyms I'm going to be visiting are Snap Fitness in Irwin, Alpha Elite Performance and Fitness in Export, the Aerobic Center in Greensburg, LA Fitness in Greensburg, Alpha Fitness Club in Elizabeth, Wright's Gym in Crafton, Body Tech in the North Hills, Pure Athletics in Wexford, Fitness 19 in West Mifflin, and of course, Anytime Fitness in White Oak. So Dr. Jim Stepani, who's popular in the fitness industry and also someone who I've followed closely throughout the years and done many of his workouts, actually, uh, he's just a really jacked old man. Uh, so, you know, he uh, he has some good advice, but he actually got me interested in full body training and I've done many full body programs throughout the year. Um, his version of full body typically splits up the body into 10 different muscle groups, which are chest, back, legs, shoulders, traps, calves, triceps, biceps, forearms, and abs. So to honor Jim Stepani's 10 different muscle groups, during my gym tour tomorrow, I plan on working out a different muscle group at each of the 10 gyms thus equating to one giant full body workout throughout the day. So for each body part, I plan on doing a 20 to 30 minute workout with four to five exercises at about 15 to 20 reps each. So since it would be difficult to make a full dedicated 20 to 30 minute workout for both abs and calves, I'm combining them. I'm also combining traps with shoulders, and as far as replacing them, I'm going to start off with a warm-up walk and end with a cool-down walk. So it's just before 5 a.m., and I'm at my first gym, which is Snap Fitness in Irwin. Starting off with a warm-up walk. So Snap Fitness is a chain gym, similar to any type fitness. It's a 24-7 facility. It has a good amount of cardio equipment with COVID partitions, as you can see. It also has a decent amount of weightlifting equipment. Uh, nothing fancy here. Cable machines, other machines, some dumbbells, um, a Smith machine, but no squat racks or anything like that. Also a tiny area for some functional fitness or some medicine ball workouts. I personally don't use it that often, but it, with it being 24-7, there's generally not too much of a crowd. And warm-up complete. So it's 5.51, and I'm at my second stop, which is Alpha Elite Performance and Fitness in Export PA. And now, time for some legs. Alpha Elite is one of my favorite gyms on the list, and also one of the gyms I go to every single week. It's a large facility with a large variety of equipment. 
one of the main advantages and one of the reasons why I chose specifically to do my leg work out here is just the amount of racks it has. It has a good amount of squat racks and also has some crossfit racks. It doesn't have too many machines but just enough to, to work every body part. It's mainly just free weights uh, and there's actually three racks of dumbbells. Another advantage is the functional fitness area. It actually has a 50 yard possibly turf area where you could do tire flips, sled pushes, exercises like that. They have your basic cardio equipment but I never use it. This also is a 24 hour facility and like most of the other 24 hour facilities I visit, whenever I go there's typically not too many people there. It's also a Christian owned facility with an underlying Christian theme which I love. One of the few complaints I have is that it doesn't have any AC um, so whenever it gets hot out they have to open the garage doors or turn on the fans but uh, during the summer it gets really hot. Also they don't have locker rooms. They just have a men's and a women's restroom. Glad I got legs out of the way. So it's 6.53 and I'm at my third gym of the day, the aerobic center in Greensburg. Now to hit some shoulders. So I'd compare the aerobic center to a YMCA. It has a fitness center, a pool, a spa, some courts, some fields, recreational areas. As far as the fitness center goes, it's pretty well equipped. It has a mixture of machines and free weights and actually they all look pretty old. A wide range of dumbbells which surprisingly go up to 180 pounds. It has a large cardio area and uh, a lot of cardio equipment, uh, but one of the big draws for me is the pool. It's a four lane pool and Unless you go during one of the classes or immediately after one of the classes, you usually can find a lane open. Not a fan of their restrooms. Um, I'll just leave it at that. But they do have a sauna in their locker room, which I've never used because it's been closed due to COVID. But overall, it's a nice facility and it's actually right next to a bike trail, which is nice if I ever want to go for a bike ride and then come back and lift or vice versa. You can cross shoulders off the list. So it's 7.50 and I'm at my fourth gym of the day, which is the LA Fitness in Greensburg. I pushed, now it's time to pull. So LA Fitness is just your typical big chain gym. They got a lot of equipment, but also a lot of people that go there. This one in particular has all the weightlifting equipment on the first floor and all the cardio equipment on the second floor. It has all the amenities, pool, sauna, racquetball courts. It also has a smoothie bar, uh, the Energize Cafe. The club in Greensburg is quite new and it has a lot of new equipment which I like. It also has dumbbells that go up in increments of 2.5 pounds. I myself have been a member at LA Fitness for several years. I do enjoy it, but just one of the major drawbacks is the amount of people that are members and just the crowded gyms all the time. Honestly, my favorite thing is the sauna. Just wish it was open right now. Had trouble using some of the equipment I wanted to use, but back workout, complete. So it's 10.07 and I'm at my fifth gym for today, which is... Alpha Fitness Club in Elizabeth. Time to do some curls for the girls. So Alpha Fitness Club is a nice little small gym. It's actually located in the Court Time Sports Complex, which has basketball courts, volleyball courts, and an indoor soccer field. It's very well equipped and doesn't get too crowded, uh, at least from the few times that I've been there. It has all your standard cardio equipment as well as all your standard weightlifting equipment. Just in regards to the weightlifting equipment, it has one of each, not multiple. So if somebody's using something, um, you might not be able to use it. It has a back room for fitness classes and also uh, individual sauna in the locker rooms. My only complaint is that the weekend hours seem a bit truncated. The gun show is officially over. So it's 1057 
and I just got done with my fifth workout. I got some errands to run, so that's going to be my final workout before lunch. I only got five more to do after lunch, so I'm halfway there. So it's just after 2.30. I'm done with lunch, and I'm on my way to the sixth gym of the day. And no, it's not Planet Fitness. It's actually... Wright's Gym and Crafton. Already hit the buys, time for the tries. So Wright's Gym is a large underground facility, and yes, it's located right underneath a Planet Fitness. Its website says it's about 15,000 square feet, and it's not just a fitness center, but also a martial arts gym. So it has a large area for boxing, as well as Muay Thai and other martial arts forms. They have various classes, and the classes run pretty much every day. You can actually sign up for the classes or uh, extend your membership where the classes are included for an extra cost. As you walk into the gym, there's a large cardio area as well as a large functional fitness area. The fitness area itself is well equipped with a lot of machines, a lot of racks, and a lot of free weights. It does tend to be crowded, especially if you go during peak hours. But you're usually able to get your plan workout in, and overall I think this is a good facility, especially if you're into martial arts. It truly is funny that a uh, hardcore gym such as Wright's Gym is right underneath a Planet Fitness. No offense to Planet Fitness. Put a check mark next to triceps. So it's 354, and I'm finally at gym number 7 on the list, which is my favorite, Body Tech. In the North Hills. I saved my chest workout specifically for this gym. So Body Tech by far is my favorite gym on the list. It's a 24 hour facility and also a very large facility. It just really has that old school Arnold Schwarzenegger Gold's Gym vibe to it. I mean the weights are rusty, the machines look old, the plates look like they weigh, not what they say they weigh. I just love it. It truly is a bodybuilder's type gym. So the reason I chose this gym specifically for chest is just uh, the amount of equipment they have as far as benches. Uh, they also have a huge amount of dumbbells that go up to a pretty decent weight. It has pretty much two of everything which makes it easy to use what you want to use especially if there's a crowd. Now besides the large weightlifting slash free weight area, there's also uh, two cardio areas with a cardio theater installed. There's also a spin room, a power lifting room, a room for stretching, a boxing area, and even a room dedicated just for women. As far as other amenities, they also have a tanning bed as well as a smoothie bar. But overall, if your main goal is just lifting weights or bodybuilding, this is probably the gym for you. I personally visit this gym the most often out of all the gyms on my list. Not even International Chest Day, but still hit the pecs. It's just before 5pm and I'm finally at my 8th gym of the day, which is Pure Athletics in Wexford. Not the sexiest of workouts, but still gotta hit the abs and calves. So Pure Athletics is actually more of a sports complex than an actual gym or fitness center. It's very large, and one of its biggest draws is the indoor jungle gym in its main room. Additionally to the jungle gym, it also has an 8th mile indoor track, indoor tennis courts, and locker rooms with uh, saunas in them. Now the fitness center is just as large, uh, with a large cardio area near the jungle gym. And there's also six individual rooms, each with kind of a different theme of weightlifting equipment. But each room is rather large and very well equipped with machines and free weights. It's quite a drive for me to get there, but the few times I've actually worked out at this gym, it hasn't really been that crowded. I think one of the big draws for me is the indoor track, which I haven't been able to use since they've had it closed due to the coronavirus. That in the jungle gym, which I haven't used yet, but plan on using because, well, it's awesome. But definitely a good place to get your workout in and a neat place just to check out. Feeling that six pack coming in, but still no calves. So it's 648 and I'm finally 
right across from Kennywood at my ninth gym, Fitness 19 in West Mifflin. So I was supposed to do forearms for this workout, but it's actually really hard to make a whole workout just dedicated to the forearms. So I'm just going to do biceps again. Got to get them guns for the Huns. So Fitness 19 is actually another large chain gym with multiple locations over the Pittsburgh area. It has a large amount of equipment and... So apparently Fitness 19 adjusted their closing time to 7 p.m. So I was only able to get in a, about a 7 minute workout. But 100 reps is 100 reps and a workout is a workout no matter what duration. So that just means I get to have dinner earlier than I thought. Then after dinner, only one more gym to go. So it's about a quarter after eight. And it wouldn't be a day in my life if I didn't make a stop at any time fitness. My 10th and final gym of the day. Some experts recommend a 10 minute walk after a meal to aid in digestion. I'm gonna go for about a 30 minute walk but that should aid in digestion just as well. So to finish things off, a cool down walk. So Anytime Fitness is also one of the three favorite gyms on my list. As you can tell just by the amount of times I actually go here. I actually go pretty much every day. The reasons being it's only one minute away from where I live. It's open 24-7 which means I could come early before work and get my cardio in. Plus, when I come, there's really never anybody there. And Jacob's Ladder, which I use pretty often. Other than that, it's your pretty standard fitness center. It has all the weightlifting equipment you need, all the cardio equipment you need, and it's 24-7. Uh, it's 8.53. Mission accomplished. 10 gyms in one day. So my final totals for today, I uh, burned just over 1,800 calories, and according to FitBot, I spent about 256 minutes lifting. So my thoughts on the day? That honestly was a lot easier than running 26.2 miles, and uh, a little more enjoyable. The most tiring part of the day was actually driving from gym to gym. But overall, it was just fun going to different gyms and getting a workout in, especially at the gyms I have a membership to but typically don't go to. That being said, even after trying the other gyms, I would say that I'm still sticking to my main three gyms, which are Body Tech, Anytime Fitness, and Alpha Elite. They're overall just the most equipped um, and the most convenient for me. There are other gyms in the area where I have looked into possibly becoming a member, um, but for right now I'm pretty content with the memberships I have. But as you can probably tell, I'm pretty tired. Uh, not as tired as it was last week, uh, but still pretty tired. So I'm going to go to bed and give my muscles some much needed rest. Peace. This video has been sponsored by my channel. Please like and subscribe.